Hello, grade sixes. Today what we're going to do is we're going to start working with mixed numbers. Now, if you're not familiar with mixed number, it's basically a number that has a mixture of two things. It has a whole number part and it has a proper fraction part. So, for example, if I was giving you an example of this, you might have a number like this, two and one third. There's two whole amounts and then there's one-third of another whole amount. So that's what it has. It has the whole number part in front, and then it has the fraction part as well. So let's try this first question. So our first example here is write 17 fourths as a mixed number. So you can see 17 fourths is an improper fraction, and we want to write it now as a mixed number. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tackle this just with a diagram. So let's just quick draw something that's separated into quarters. Okay, so it's separated into quarters. And we've got, the reason I drew my holes as being separated into quarters is because the denominator is a four. So that means every hole is divided up into four chunks. So if I start coloring this in, I've got one, two, three, Four, and you can see I need 17 of these. So let's go to the next one. Five, six, seven, eight. Got to keep going. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Getting closer. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and I need one more. And the last thing I'm going to write is the seventeenth piece. So the question is, what is seventeen fourths as a mixed number? Well, first thing we do is count the number of whole pieces we had. So here's one, here's two, here's three. Here's four, so I have four holes, and how much do I have left over? I've got one left over, and each hole is divided up into four, so the denominator becomes four. So you can see that's how I can take a improper fraction and write it as a mixed number. Now, I have to admit, there's a lot of times here where I ask myself, well, how can I do this without drawing a picture? And then this is basically what I do. Just remember that the line in a fraction is just a division line. So we're taking 17 fourths and, or 17 and we're dividing it up into four groups. Well, how many would be in each group? Well, it doesn't work out very even. Okay, it's not nice. It doesn't give me a nice whole number answer. But you can see if it was 8, 8 divided by 4 would give me 2. If it was 12, that's the next multiple, divided by 4 would give me 3. 16 divided by 4 would give me 4. And then you can see the next one's 20. So 16 divided by 4 gives me 4 whole. But you can see that only is when I use 16. I've got 1 left over, so I put it here, and it's divided up into 4. So you can use division to kind of figure this out. Let's try it with a different one. Let's say we had 18 fifths. First thing I do is I ask myself, how can you divide 18 up into five groups? And you start thinking to yourself, well, 10 divides by five, there's two in each group. 15 divides by five, there's three in each group. And then when I hit 20 divides by five, that's too big. So I know I have three whole groups because that's 15. How many do I have left over? Well, if I had three in each group and I had five groups, that's 15. That means I have three left over, and we're dividing this into fifths. So I hope this gets you going. Uh, try some questions. You can come ask me questions if you need.